I'm using this controller here from Manhattan at One Police Plaza controlling drones on top of the 47 precinct. What? They're in our infancy stages, but the goal is we're going to be utilizing these drones for public safety and beach safety. We're going to deploy these drones what? on the beach. The pilots will be flying up and down the beach, keeping beachgoers and swimmers safe. The goal is this summer, there's going to be a payload on this drone that, God forbid, if somebody's having an emergency in the water, whether it be if they're caught in a riptide, whether it be if they're drowning, the payload, the drone operator, can hit a button, it will drop what's called a rust tube. As soon as that tube hits the water, it opens up into a flotation device. Jet what? Welcome back to What TV. Ladies, 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 ladies with a body, anybody with a Mercedes, please hide your bodies, wrap it up because it's over. Please hide your BBLs, hide your chest, men. Please just don't do it this summer. Get the word out. 2024, New York is back again. Let me wake y'all up. Yes, New York, tap in with us. They are back again, y'all, with the drones. And they're talking about having drones deployed on the beach. Because if you don't know, New York last summer, <clears throat> last year in Labor Day, they had put out drones. For the first time, New York City used drones to monitor the community. They did this out in Brooklyn during Labor Day. So a lot of people didn't know about it. You got to get the word out. Share, share, share this video. Because now they're saying in 2024, New York, that they're bringing these drones to the beach. And you know their reason for using this? They're saying that the drones can drop devices that will help you float. This is the reason y'all pay attention. Because they're going to trick y'all into allowing this for safety. But at the same time, they're monitoring y'all. They already admitted last summer that they would use this to watch you in your barbecues. If you have large gathering of people, they're going to be watching y'all up in New York City. We see that they're using this in Miami. And we're going to take a look into that because they're using this on the beaches. So ladies, let me know how y'all feel. What if this is like jail footage and years later footage gets released? Ladies, let me know how y'all feel. Y'all might have to hide your bodies, ladies, with the BBLs. Come on. You're going to be on NYPD, Miami PD camera. Let me run that again for y'all and we're going to get into the full story. Stay with me, okay? Let me know how y'all feel. Do you think this is invasive? They're going to be watching the barbecues. You're going to hear it. They're going to admit it. They're going to admit it. They're going to be watching y'all in New York. New York, tap in. Get the word out. Let me know how y'all feel because I spoke to a couple people and they didn't know about this. Yes, they, built, they will be watching y'all. They admitted it. The goal is we're going to be utilizing these drones for public safety and beach safety. We're going to deploy these drones on a beach. What? Public safety and beach safety. There's more. There's more. Stay with us, y'all. Stay with us. The pilots will be flying up and down the beach, keeping beachgoers and swimmers safe. The goal is this summer, there's going to be a payload on this drone that, God forbid, if somebody's having an emergency in the water, whether it be if they're caught in a riptide, whether it be if they're drowning, the payload, the drone operator, can hit a button. It will drop what's called a rust tube. As soon as that tube hits the water, it opens up into a flotation device. Just as our honorable New York City Police Commissioner Edward Caban has stated, he will continue to utilize new technology to keep all New Yorkers safe. Wow, you heard it there. He was in Manhattan and controlling the drone up in the Bronx, y'all. Bronx, tap in. Manhattan, tap in. Let's see what, what happened last summer. Let's jump right into it. Bronx, tap in with us, tap in. Now to the NYPD using drone surveillance this holiday weekend to monitor crowds and watch for any potential problems. ABC's Derek what? Dennis is in Manhattan with what critics are saying and the mayor's defense of the program. Derek, good morning. 
Janae, good morning to you. You know, drones just aren't for recreation anymore. Police are using them to be their eye in the sky over large gatherings. But can they show too much? And are innocent people being unfairly caught on camera? This morning, the NYPD is raising privacy concerns among some New York City residents ahead of two local parades, Juve and the West Indian Day Parade, that usually attract millions of spectators. The department announcing it will use remote controlled drones equipped with high tech cameras for crowd surveillance. The move coming in response to recent complaints about large gatherings in the city. If a uh, caller stays what? in a large crowd, large party in the backyards, we're going to be utilizing our assets to go up to go check on the party. The plan. What? If they get a call for a large crowd or a party, they're going to be using drones? Mind you, this was the end of last summer, so they really didn't get to uh, deploy it. They said they're going to be using this in 2024, y'all. New York, let me know what's going on because a lot of people didn't know. Do y'all like this? They gonna be watching y'all barbecues in New York, man. Come on, man. They can't be watching the fish fry go down. Let me know y'all thoughts. Gatherings in the city. If a uh, caller states there's a large crowd, large party in the backyards, we're gonna be utilizing our assets to go up to go check on the party. The what? Plan drawing backlash from some privacy and civil liberties advocates who argued the tactic will target minority communities and may violate surveillance laws. This is incredibly invasive, and it may be unconstitutional. We're not going to see drones flying in my neighborhood, but we are going to see drones flying in the same neighborhoods that the NYPD has always targeted. Wow, you heard what he just said? He said they're not going to target his neighborhood. They're going to be targeting probably your neighborhood. Come on, Bronx, Harlem, stand up. Let me know how y'all feel. Come on. They're going to be having drones flying around. Don't act like what TV didn't let y'all know. 2024 is going down. You heard what he just said. They're not watching his neighborhood. They're going to be watching your neighborhood. Tap in. Share. And it may be unconstitutional. We're not going to see drones flying in my neighborhood. But we are going to see drones flying in the same neighborhoods that the NYPD has always targeted. What? The city's mayor vehemently defending the drones. Instead of the police having to respond uh, and uh, look at those, they're going to utilize drones from a safe distance up, uh, not down, flying in someone's backyard to see what they have on the grill. According to research from the ACLU, there are currently 1,400 police departments in the United States using drone technology, including cities like Santa Monica, California, Chicago, and Boston. Last month, the NYPD put theirs to use after a botched gaming console giveaway promoted by an influencer erupted in chaos in Manhattan. So y'all see it right there. Y'all see it right there. They already said they're going to be deploying this more in 2024, okay? Ex expect more of this. They're not going to be hovering down in your barbecue. You're not going to see it hovering down. They could watch y'all from miles away up in the sky. And they could control it from Manhattan. Miami too. This spring break, they already told people, listen, we're tightening up. We're watching y'all. Miami, let us know how you feel. Ladies. Come on with the BBLs, the bodies, whoever you are. Come on, you're going to let this go down? How comfortable do you feel knowing that drones are watching you in Miami? N Miami PD, New York PD, they're going to be watching you. These tapes might come out. Don't do no nasty. Don't do nothing on the, on the beach. We letting y'all know for now. What TV? Let y'all know. Tap in. Miami Beach's police chief, Wayne Jones, telling us every member of the department is working extended hours for spring break. And they're using new drone technology from Skydio to track incidents and those in distress. What? He says the city safety plan is comprehensive and the message crystal clear. You come here, you have a good time, you behave, we will invite you back. If you come here, you break the law, we're likely going to arrest you. Sam Brock joins us tonight from... You see it right there. You see Miami it right Beach. there. Sam, you spoke with a lot of residents there. New York to Miami. New York to Miami. They are using drones, okay? They're going to be using drones, and that's just it, man. That's just it. They're using drones. Let me know how y'all feel. Ladies, let me know how y'all feel. People, let me know how y'all feel out there. New York, get the word out. There's a lot of people that didn't know New York. Y'all going to be being watched. Ladies, 
Let me know how y'all feel. Do you think these tapes will be out one day? Or are you going to feel comfortable and more safe at the beach knowing that they're watching you from afar? Or does it really matter? Let me know how y'all feel. Tap in. Get the word out. Get the word out. Get the word out. Share, share, share. What TV?